Hello, this is a video on how to play the card game Barboo. Now, in Barboo, um, each round, um, the essence is uh, each round, so you have multiple rounds. Um, each round uses one of seven different contracts. Each player must declare, um, act as the declare for each contract once, and players challenge each other to side bets to win additional points. And so you might be saying, well, what did you just say? And we'll talk about that. And so, uh, Barbu uses a standard deck of cards, right? So that would be your standard 52 uh, card deck. Um, do note that Barbu is strictly a four player game. Um, and so that's non negotiable. If you have more or less players, unfortunately, you will have to play a different game. And so, um, a randomly selected player becomes the first declarer. And so, in this case, Pig was the first declarer. Um, for the first seven rounds, the player, this player, in this case Pig, would select which contract is used until each contract has been played once. Then the player to his left becomes the next declarer. The game continues until every player has been the declarer and played out all the contracts for a total of 28 rounds. And so, for 7 rounds, he would pick the first 7 contracts. Then Donkey would declare the 7 contracts. Um, and then Bat would play out seven contracts, and then I would play out seven contracts. That's seven, 14, 21, 28, right? So for a total of 28 rounds. So contracts are divided into positive and negative contracts based on the points available. And so let's just talk about the contract that, that's played. Um, and so... In this case, um, there was a screen there, and we'll talk about that after. Um, but basically, what's the contract played? So the contract here, as you can see, the contract is no hearts. This means the objective is to avoid all hearts card. All hearts cards. Um, each hearts card won in a trick has a penalty of negative two points, except for the ace of hearts, which has a penalty of negative six points. And so, what's the objective? For this round, the objective is to avoid all hearts cards. And so there's no hearts in here, and so we're fine. Uh, we'll just play our um, lowest value spade there. That's the ace of diamonds, and so what we'll do is we'll play our highest value diamond there. Reason being, I want to try to get rid of my highest value cards in tricks that don't have hearts. There's no heart there, and so that's fine. Uh, let's play another clover here. No hearts, right? No hearts. That's the objective. The objective is not to win any hearts. And so each round has an objective. And so let's just sign up Barbu. Uh, the declarer is the person who picks the contract, and the contract is basically the objective for the round. And that's how points are scored. Um, in this case, I'll play seven of clubs. Hopefully, Pig doesn't play a heart here. Um, but it doesn't matter because uh, the player with the 10 will win anyway. Note that there's no trump or anything, right? And so it's just regular. Uh, let's play with the highest ranking card in the lead suit. Uh, the rank is normal with ace being the highest and two being the lowest. So the player who obviously, just like with all trick taking games, the player who leaves the last trick wins the next trick. So what we'll do is we'll uh, get rid of our heart here. We'll throw in a heart right there. We know that we can't take it and so Bat will indeed take a heart there. So Bat has one heart. So I have to play a spade there. I'll try to play my lowest value spade. Hopefully Donkey doesn't have a heart. Good. So Donkey played his. Uh, so Donkey won normally. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Pig might have a heart. Pig might have a heart. And I took a heart there. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Um, and so we'll play Clover here. Let's play Clover. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I took... Ah, I have the ace as well as two regular hearts. And so I am not doing so well here. And I all I always lose these for some reason. I in these videos I'm I'm, I'm the worst player of everybody. Um and so yeah, this is just getting brutal. This is getting absolutely brutal. Lucky for us, Donkey took those cards there. But we are going to accrue a lot of penalty points. A lot. Okay. So, 
right? And so the player to the left comes. All right, so let's just talk about the scoring here. And then we'll talk about this, right? And so what do, how do you play Barbu? Um, each player gets seven try, uh, seven chances to declare a contract, right? So they pick basically the objective for the round, and you just want to follow that objective, um, and that's how points are scored. And so uh, you have positive and negative contracts, and so the no hearts is a negative contract, right? Because you lose points. I lost uh, negative two points for each heart I won, as well as six points for the ace of hearts. Um, do note, and we'll talk about each contract as it comes. Um, do note that uh, doubling is, um, I guess, uh, the player winning or losing additional points by making side bets with each other. And so, I can double, um, which would allow me to win or lose additional points by d doubling another player after the contract has been chosen. And so, uh, whichever player scores more than another player in the round wins their side bet. And so, the difference between the scores for the round is added into the winner score and subtracted from the loser score. So, let's say I doubled on bat, right? And then, um, bat scored um, 20 points and I scored 10 points, right? Uh, the, the difference... So, so let's say Bat scored 10 point, 20 points and I scored 10 points and Bat doubled on me or I doubled on Bat. Either way, um, it's, it's both ways. The bet works both ways. And so Bat scores 20 points, I score 10 points. 20 minus 10 is 10. Um, and so that is added into Bat score and subtracted from my score. And so when, when players bet with each other, essentially called doubling, the difference between their scores is added to the winner score and subtracted from the loser score. And so let's say I uh, pig score 20 and I scored 15. Then 20 minus 15 is 5. So pig would add 5 points and I would subtract 5 points from my score. So when you double, the difference between your scores is added to the winner score and subtracted from the loser score. Quite simple. A player who has been doubled may choose to redouble. In this case, double the difference in scores is applied to the winner and the loser. Uh, the declarer cannot double other players, they can only redouble. And the other players are required to double the declarer twice uh, during every set of seven rounds. And so in every seven rounds, you must double the declarer twice. Um, remember, once again, uh, if you redouble, then you score double the difference. If you just singular double, you score the difference to the winner and it's subtracted from the loser. And the declarer cannot double, they can only redouble. So scoring. And so, um, points can only be gained um, in the positive contracts. In the negative contracts, players uh, attempt to avoid uh, losing points. And so, the reason um, Pig and Bat got points, even though it was a negative contract, um, was because they doubled on other players. And that allowed them to score the difference. Other than that, uh, they would not be able to normally score points. So let's sum up Barbu here, right? I like to do these. I like to sum it up at points in the video. Um, the objective of Barbu is just um, each player gets uh, seven rounds to be the declarer. Um, and, 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 and let's just uh, ignore the uh, more complicated double rules. Um, so each player gets seven rounds to be the declarer uh, for a total of 28 rounds. Uh, the declarer chooses the contract or the objective for the round. Um, and you score um, positive points if it's a positive contract, negative points if it's a negative contract. Um, Obviously, the points you score depends on the contract. Um, what else? Furthermore, um, you can also double, which essentially means betting with another player to see uh, who would get the higher score. So you could, if I double pig, I say, hey pig, I feel like I'm going to have a higher score. And then the difference between the scores is uh, subtracted, and the winner is given the difference, and the loser has to subtract the difference from their overall score. Um, if you redouble, then you just double the difference scored between the winner and the loser. And that's essentially it, right? At the end of 28 rounds, you want to have the highest score. Um, and don't worry about doubling twice every seven set of rounds or whatever. That's just an extra rule. And so what's the objective here? Our, and I believe this is a cow. The cow has chosen no hearts and so that once again the objective is to avoid all the hearts cards 
I'm gonna oh donkey it's a donkey sorry I'm gonna double on donkey as well so now the objective is to do better than donkey I'll play diamond Once again, Bat took the trick. Bat will lead the next trick. Do note that each player is evenly given 13 cards, right? And so there's no cards in the middle or anything of that sort. So now Pig won the trick. Pig is going to play Clover. And lucky for us, that was beneficial. Let's play a Spade here. So bat played the ten of spade there. Winning the trick. Ball played the ten of hearts there. So bat obtained a heart there. Bat plays a spade. No, 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 no! Now I took a heart. Why does this keep happening? No, 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 oh, I took another heart. So I'll play two of hearts there. So now, donkey must take the hearts. And donkey's in a rough spot right now. Donkey's in a very rough spot. And there we go. And so what happened there? Um, the difference in our scores, right? Um, ended up being 36 for the round. For the round. Right, specifically for the round. And so I scored that. Um, and he uh, was able to, I guess, he had to subtract that from uh, from his score there. So I benefited, right? I gained points due to that. Um, and so now the declarer shifts to bat, right? Each player gets uh, to be the declarer seven rounds, shifting once each round. And so it would be for a total of 28 rounds. So I don't know if we're actually going to play all 28 rounds here. Uh, but we'll go, I guess, a bit more so you can sort of see. Um, I think I'll do better than uh, Donkey. Donkey seems to be somewhat of a bad player here. That's a king of diamonds. Remember, uh, that also play the contract here is also no hearts. I guess we'll play another clover here. So we'll play our eight, right? I don't want to win that trick because I know that bat can screw me over there. Bat played his heart. I do not want to win that trick. I will play my six. So now Donkey won that trick. No, 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 no. 
No, 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 no. I won this trick. I ended up winning this trick. Ah. Uh, that sucks. I'll play my five. Hopefully, donkey, donkey, have a higher. No, 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 no. Come on. Come on. Come on. See, I'm getting, I'm getting screwed here. I'm getting screwed here. Nobody else has anything other than hearts. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Okay. See now, this is how it, it's. This is how you lose. Don't do what I do. Do the exact opposite of what I do, and you'll win. Well, he just. He just has a really good hand. Yeah, we are getting absolutely destroyed here. Uh, but we'll play one more round just to show you. As you can see, I'm not a fan of this game. And so, um, Donkey um, scored the difference uh, between mine and his points. All right, and um, I scored, uh, I have to subtract that. So, normally, um, I would have scored, and let's see here. Uh, let's do some quick math here. Uh, and so, uh, normally I would have lost only uh, 36 points, but since he, since um, the difference between mine and his points for the round, for the round, um, were 44, um, then I am forced um, to score. Um, Subtract 44 points from my card total. So now I get to choose uh, the contract. Um, let's just go with a no tricks. And so this is a negative contract, right? And so no tricks. Uh, the objective is to avoid winning any tricks. The winner of each trick is penalized two points. Almost a double donkey again. Remember, there are 20 rounds and we're only in the fourth round, and so this is quite a long game. And so it's my turn to go first. I want to play three of diamonds there. So pig won the trick. Pig won the trick again. See here, my goal is to get rid of all my high ranking cards, and I believe I might actually end up winning this trick. Unless I get saved here. Okay, this is dumb. Why? How come I always? How come I'm so bad at this game? Okay, I'm quite bad as you can see. Uh, but lucky for us, Bat will win the trick. I'm trying to get rid of my high value cards so I cannot win a trick there. That was a close call there. Lucky for us, Pig will win that trick. And so you score negative two points for each trick you win. In this case, I'll get rid of my highest value card again. We're gonna be my king of hearts. No, 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 no. Oh, this is bad. Okay, lucky for us, pig has a queen of hearts. Remember, you must follow the lead suit whenever possible, just like whenever with every other trick taking game. We'll play our eight, knowing that we can get rid of it. We'll play our nine there, right? We want to get rid of our high ranking cards so we can take the fewest tricks possible.
So I still lost points there. Why? I doubled with the donkey, but he did better than me that round. And so I scored the difference between mine and donkey's points there. So I scored a negative two um, for just having a trick. And then uh, the distance of difference between mine and donkey's points would be I guess four, or unless unless we redoubled. If if we redoubled, then it it would be, um, uh, it would be negative two, obviously. But if we redoubled, it would be four. Then I would score no a uh, negative six points, and then he would score, um, now I mean negative four points, right? Negative four plus two, negative six, and then he would also score ten points, uh, depending on the bonus he has, um, and so. Keep in mind, um, uh, actually no, not the bonus. Sorry, uh, with depending on the uh, doubles he has with the other players, and so keep in mind this is a simple game, uh, but there is a lot to learn here. Um, and so let's just sum it up here, right? Each player's dealt their thirteen cards um, at the start of the round. Uh, the, you have a declarer. The declarer goes clockwise in a circle. Each player gets seven tries to be the declarer. The declarer determines the objective or the contract for the round. Um, there's negative contracts and positive contracts. Um, you can also double with other players, meaning you try to have a little competition to see who scores more points. Uh, the winner scores the difference between their points. The loser subtracts the difference between the, their points. Um, obviously, if you have multiple players uh, bet on you, uh, then you either win big or you lose big, right? Depending on how you play. Um, if if you're if you have a lower score than all three players, then you'd have to subtract the difference between all three players. If you have a higher score than all three players, then you'd have to add the difference between all three players, and so it just works like that, right? You can choose. Um, do note that um, contracts are divided into positive and negative contracts. No last two is to the the contract is to avoid winning the last two tricks. The winner of the second last trick is penalized negative ten points. The winner of the last trick is penalized negative twenty points. No tricks. The objective is to avoid winning any tricks like the last round. The winner of each trick is penalized um, two points, right? So you, you score negative two points. No barbu is the objective is to avoid the barbu. The barbu is the king of hearts. Um, whoever takes the trick with the barbu is penalized twenty points, right? So negative twenty points. Um, leading with hearts is forbidden until someone has played hearts in a trick, right? To avoid get the to avoid the uh, barbu. Um, no hearts. The objective is to avoid all hearts cards. Each hearts card won in a trick has a penalty of negative two points, except the ace, which has a penalty of negative six points. And we saw that. No queens. The objective is to avoid all queen cards. Each queen taken in a trick has a penalty of negative six points. The round ends when all the queens have been taken. Positive contracts. Trumps. The objective is to win maximum tricks. The declarer chooses a trump suit and plays following standard trick taking rules. Each trick won is worth five points. And so I mean, you'll have to look at some sort of a guide, right? Because it's hard to remember all of this. Uh, but I'm just reading it up. Uh, dominoes. There, there are only two uh, positive uh, contracts, right? And there's uh, five negative ones. And so then you have dominoes. Uh, the objective is to get rid of all your cards quickly. Uh, the declarer plays a card face up. Cards of the same rank or an adjacent card within the same suit to any card on the table game played. So it's like playing a game of dominoes. Um, you, it's not actually playing tricks. When the dominoes contract is played, the declarer plays a card face up. Cards of the same rank or an adjacent card within the same suit can be played, right? So it's matched. If a player has no valid cards, they pass their turn. The first player to get rid of their whole hand scores positive 45 points. The next player to do so scores 20 points. The third scores 5 points. And the last is penalized 5 points. As well as you, as you have doubling. Uh, but that's essentially it. The, whoever has the most round points at the end of the 28 rounds wins. Um, and so do know for dominoes, uh, it's like playing a game of dominoes. You match uh, the end of the card played uh, by either suit or by uh, rank. And so that wraps up how to play Barbu. Um, it's uh, it's an easy game. No, it's not an easy game. Um, it's easy to, t to play, uh, but in terms of uh, contracts and all of that, it's sort of tedious trying to remember it. Uh, but it's different. It's a contract taking game. Uh, that also applies trick taking and it's different from really any other card game. So that wraps up how to play Barbu and I hope you learned somewhat confusing but somewhat fun card game and thank you for watching.